Bitcoin ETF approval marks conclusion of a decade-long journey much has changed since the Winklevoss filed unsuccessfully for the first Bitcoin ETF in July 2013. Sam Reynolds' 10 years of decentralizing the future May 29-31, 2024, Austin, Texas The biggest and most established global hub for everything crypto, blockchain and Web3. Register now it's been over 10 and a half years since the Winklevoss twins first filed for a Bitcoin. BTC, Exchange Traded Fund, ETF, in July 2013. This filing, covered by Coindesk in its first year of operation, was ultimately unsuccessful, despite multiple resubmissions, but serves as an interesting time capsule to look at how the industry has changed and matured since then. At the time, Bitcoin's market cap had just surpassed $1 billion, now it is closer to $900 billion, and the crypto was trading for around $87. Cameron Winklevoss prediction that Bitcoin might one day hit $40,000 was as controversial as it could get. The Financial Times wrote in 2013 that many on Wall Street viewed the Winklevoss twins proposal with skepticism, saying that Bitcoin wasn't a mature enough asset class for the $2 trillion, at the time, ETF market. Bitcoin itself is not even a developed market, let alone to build an ETF on top of it, said Reginald Brown, managing director at KCG Holdings, at the time. There has to be some investment merit to bring an ETF to the marketplace, and without that, it is not going to be successful. Investors won't expand it, market makers can't trade it. Around the time time, Morningstar follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.